Well, today we're on the road to visit one of the biggest little train clubs you'll find right now on the main track. It's a lot of fun finding a model railroad in a place you wouldn't likely expect to see one. Most of the time, you'll find train clubs in bigger cities, as naturally you'd expect more people to equal more model railroaders. But this group in West Plains, Missouri, population 12,000, proves you'll find our fellow model railroaders just about everywhere. How did that come to pass? Uh, well, our president, Bob Pope, we actually met him here probably three years ago when he was just starting to do this, and he put this all on by himself. And, and when he did that, he had an, a clipboard of other people that like trains and just sign up, and that's kind of how it got started. We got a club going out of it, and uh, it's grown from there. It's pretty good size now. Some of the members live here in town, and others, like Jeremy Nix and his son Ethan, come from miles around. <laughs> well, I've been doing this about three years now, but... So you, you didn't, you weren't a model railroader at all until about three years ago? No. Okay, so what was the, so he got you into it then? Okay. He has loved trains yep. since birth, and okay. that's, that's how this has started. The group provides an important connection for modelers who otherwise live hours away from the nearest train clubs and hobby shops. In past episodes here on the main track, we featured the West Plains Model Railroad Club's small layout that members take to shows and events. But these hobbyists also have this much bigger layout they keep closer to home. Well, this is our big HO layout. It is module. Each one of these is a section that club members have made themselves and they, they work on and keep up and uh, the club members get to, we put it all together and the club members get to come out and run their trains on the track and uh, just have a good time and enjoy it. So it's one of the bigger layouts that I know of mm -hmm. in the area, so. Yeah. But pretty much everybody just puts their own little flair onto, onto each module. You know, shows their personality and some of them are really intricate and detailed and some of them you know are not so much but you know it's it shows what everybody can do and what everybody's capable of so and while west plains is a railroad town members aren't necessarily setting out to recreate their hometown in miniature and the layout takes on more of a freelance theme and that applies to scenes and operations you know some of them are modern some of them like this one has some older cars on it so you know and you'll run different kinds of engines, so some engines may fit different modules mm -hmm. and not others, but you know, that, that kind of makes a mix to it. So yeah. I think it, I think it's neat. You know, I think it's cool like this because everybody can run what they want to. And I like the more prototypical stuff. My son is more into, you know, just freelancing, running what he wants to run. So this way we can do both. I mean, I see the advantages. Everybody, this is more laid back, I think. This special holiday event is a gift of sorts to the community, sharing the joy of trains. And while the HO layout is the main attraction here, there are also layouts on display in O and S scale, giving visitors a neat glimpse of the variety model railroading has to offer. We set up here at the Harlem Museum, uh, 1st of December to the end of December, and uh, run trains and invite the public to come out and see the, the layouts that we have and what we do and uh, the hard work we put in. So, One thing many modelers enjoy about being in a club like this is the ability to build friendships and share knowledge. Everyone has their own expertise, skills, and passions to bring to the table. Add all of it together and you get a fantastic layout like this. Uh, being able to ask questions of the other club members and stuff like how do you make this work, if, how do you put this together. W they do clinics on how to build things like the mountains and stuff. Uh, me, you know, this was all new to me and I'm just learning it. So it, you know, it's, uh, but learning how the, like the mountains and everything is made, I would have never figured that out. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's a good thing to have the, other members tell you like electronic problems, they can help you and, mm -hmm. and other things like that. And just have friends that share your same interests to hang out with yeah, and do sure. things together. So, uh, What would you say your favorite part of the hobby is overall? Uh, running the trains, probably. <laughs>
I'm not much for working on them. That's all right. Everyone's got their first uh, yeah, yeah. I like seeing them up and running and the pleasure my son gets out of it. So. The West Plains Bottle Railroad Club, proving no town is too big or small and nobody is too young or old to enjoy what we'd like to think is the world's greatest hobby.